How's it going everyone? So Apple this morning released a new beta 3 update for iOS 18.2 to its developer beta profiles users. And along with this update, we also received a new update for a beta update for iPad, Mac OS, TV OS, and watch OS, which I'll go more into detail on why you should not download it for your Apple Watch yet. Trust me. However, unfortunately for the Apple TV side, we haven't yet received the Snoopy screensaver because I updated my Apple TV to it, to the latest beta update, and there's no Snoopy animation or screensaver yet, unfortunately. However, the massive improvements that we did receive for this new update is new AirTag features. So if you have an Apple AirTag, you're gonna definitely appreciate these new features that Apple added. But first thing first, whenever you share something via AirDrop, if you look closely, the AirPlay icon has been slightly updated. As previously, this is how it used to look like. Small update as you see right there with the center dot, but also our other icons now support dark mode. And then a bug fix that was found on the previous beta two update was in the accessibility tab and it was the camera control. It had like a bug title that Apple didn't resolve, but they fixed it with this. But as I was previously stating in the Find My app, this is where Apple did some new improvements and gave us new features. The notification and the lost device information tab has been swapped. As previously, the notifications used to be on top and on the bottom, we only had mark as lost. Now we just have lost and then followed by the name of the device and the notifications at the very bottom. Now on some of your devices like AirTags or other compatible AirTag devices, you could actually now include your information. So here I have selected a e-bike of mine that does support an AirTag and it's dead right now because I haven't charged it. But if we go down, there's now a new tab where it says show contact information or you could tap on here, a new splash screen will pop up showing you, you could add more information irrelevant to the information you want to share with that lost item and allow others to get a hold of you in case they find it. So now Apple gave us this new tool that allows us to include more additional information on our devices. And then down here, as previously mentioned in the previous beta update, you are now able to share your AirTags or other AirTag devices via a URL. And Apple went into more detail on how this works. You see, Apple Find My users now allow it to share its lost location with third parties, such as airlines, through a secure link that can be located and disabled after the user reunites with its item, or it will actually disable itself after seven days. Now, as of time making this video, Apple states that only 15 airlines will be accepting the Find My items, a part of their new customer service process for locating mishandled or delayed baggage. So this is super beneficial to all at no additional cost. But those were the cool improvements that Apple added for the AirTags as well as other compatible AirTag devices. Now the next new changes can be located in Control Center if we enter our wiggle mode. Let me select a blank page right now. Add Control. If we scroll down, an interesting thing that I discovered is in the Connectivity tab, AirDrop even on the older one had that new icon all along. It's just now Apple updated across its entire OS. So just something I wanted to point out there. But a new tool that has been added can be located in the accessibility tab right here in the motor accessibility. We now have the ability to add control our Apple Watch from Control Center now. So you can actually set this as a shortcut where you can just tap on it right here and immediately will bring you access to your Apple Watch and you can control it all remotely if you don't know how to use this yet. So pretty cool. Now in terms of CarPlay features, I have hooked up my iPhone to my CarPlay to see if the new dark icons have been added yet. Unfortunately, no. This update still doesn't give us that ability and it still is not confirmed if Apple decided to do so. I'm just assuming they will due to the fact they're literally purposely making everything that they can into a dark icon, including like the settings that they previously did. Now there has been a report saying that the new, whenever you tap on a video animation has been re redesigned. However, from my personal experience, they look identical. Yeah, I'm not sure where that's coming from unless my phone's just bugged at the moment. But the new type and improvements can be located whenever you're using Apple Intelligence, where now if we type in something and we select that, writing tool is now right next to copy where previously you had to go all the way to the very right just to see 
or have access to the writing tool. You see, this is how it used to look like. It was right after paste, I'm sorry, it wasn't all the way to the very right, but now writing tool replaced the paste one. But personally, I kind of want Apple to give us the ability to reorganize this instead. But here you could have a better example of how, what I mean, where you had to go all the way to the very right just to have access to that writing tool. Now it's literally right next to the select all. But I don't know exactly how I feel about that though, because now I can't really paste unless I do the finger trick. But while we are in the writing tool tool, if we go down to compose, ChatGPT logo has been redesigned where previously it had built-in colors. Now it's actually black and white. Small graphical improvement right there with its icon. But aside from that, those were the major improvements for iOS 18.2 beta 3. Just a quick heads up though, wait a little bit longer to update it for your Apple Watch because there has been a report where people have been updating their Apple Watch to Watch was 11.2 Beta 3 and the update has been failing multiple times on their Apple Watch, especially in the Apple Watch Ultra 2. So I don't recommend as time against video to update it on your Apple Watch yet. Wait a little bit longer until Apple fix that little bug. But other than that, there we have it. That is everything new for this beta update update video. But don't just click away just yet because I do have an exciting video I'd like to show you. If you missed it and haven't watched it yet, definitely check out that video over there because I show you a cool way you can add your vehicle information on Apple CarPlay, such as tire pressure, your fuel range, and all the good stuff that Apple promised in the past two years. There's now a way you can finally have that information available, and it's all explained in that video over there. Thank you so much for watching.